In this video, we are going to show you how to clean and portion a beef tenderloin. Now, the first thing that we want to do is remove the silver skin. This silver skin is not soluble as when we cook in it, and it takes quite a bit to get tender. And since this meat is very, very tender, we want to be removing it, all right? All the silver skin, as you can see in here. Now, some parts of the tenderloin, obviously you have the tenderloin in here, you have the chain, which as you can see, all right, we are removing very easily with our fingers. And we're just gonna finish, all right, cutting it very slightly following all this connective tissue. This chain, as you can see in here, has a lot of really good quality meat, all right? That we cannot turn into a filet, but we can turn into, into strip, make it into fajitas, or we can make it into our use for different types of sauces. So these ones, this is usable trim that we're gonna be using later on. Now, as you can see in here, this silver skin, we wanna remove. So what we're gonna do, very gently, with the tip of our knife, we're gonna create an incision. We're gonna take one hand and pull, and we are going to fillet, all right? All of this to remove as little meat as possible. But very important is that we don't saw when we're doing this, that we just slice. That way our filet is gonna be nice and smooth, all right? This is gonna help also with final presentation and the looks of our filet, all right? And since these filets, these cuts are very expensive, we wanna make sure that we pay attention into this type of uh, little details, right? You can see how beautiful it is. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna do it from your side so you can see it a little better, all right? I'm gonna pull while I slice, all right? And if you cannot do it the f all, all in one, it's okay. We'll do it another time, okay? All right? Now, as you can see, there's some fat in here. We don't wanna use this fat, all right? And in here, you saw the chain, but in here, this area in here is called the pismo, all right? We're gonna remove the pismo from our fillet, and we are gonna show you how to clean it later on. As you can see, we have a little bit silver skin left in here, which we're gonna remove. And now, our top of the filet is ready. We're gonna flip it over, and as you can see, we have a lot of fats in here. Now, fat is gonna be good in this. Fat is gonna give us flavor. Fat is gonna give us moisture, right? But these are a little too much, so we're gonna trim them down, all right? so we can have a nice flavor of our filet, all right? This, an unusual trim. And now we are almost ready to start creating our filet. Now, from this beautiful filet, we have the tip which we normally cut about two inches of this tip because it's too thin, all right? Some people like to cut it and then fold it in and make a whole steak out of it, all right? That's one part that you can do. What I like to do is I'm gonna take this, put it with my also other edible trim. These first three cuts in here, as you can see, are not as thick as the center. So this is gonna be the beef tornadoes. These are gonna be anywhere from four to six ounces, all right? So I'm gonna put them in here. 
and I'm gonna put this in here so you can start seeing the different cuts. Now, from here on end, I can make, all right, my filet mignons. Filet mignons are usually, all right, six to eight ounces. You can use a beautiful scale, but once you have experience, you can do it by hand and be sure that you have that. So the center cut, all right, can be made, we can make what we call Chateaubriand. I think all of them, all of us have heard that term, Chateaubriand. Well, those are big center cut uh, tenderloin steaks that range in size and uh, from 10 to 12 ounces. These are very uh, thought out in fine dining restaurants, all right? But we're gonna be cutting this all into filet mignons. A normal tenderloin that is six to six and a half uh, pounds can yield up to eight to 10 filets, all right? So we have in here, our filet mignons. And then finally, all right, we are gonna cut these ones. This is what we call the tenderloin butt. This is also usable trim. And these ones, we're gonna cut into tornadoes, all right? Finally, our pismo, all right? We're gonna take our pismo and we're gonna slice it or my, clean it before we slice it, all right? We should remove all the extra fat. There's some connective tissue in here that we can just pull from with our fingers, all right? And now we can cut it into medallions. We'll cut this tip and we'll cut these tips. Use of all trims, all right? And we can turn it into tornadoes also.